here in this match, a big grudge match. GQ Bronski is going to take on Paul Mitchell, your favorite wrestler, Mike. I've said a few bad things about Paul Mitchell, but so far, I've been right. Well, thanks to you, from what I understand, Paul Mitchell was trying to come up in the broadcast position last time at Steelton and attack myself and Dan. Here comes Dutch Flex out with GQ Bronski. GQ Bronski, to my knowledge, has never actually wrestled inside a wrestling ring. Of course, we all know his brother, former IPW champion, and famous movie star, Brick Bronski. Oh, uh, we cannot leave out his movie credentials whenever we mention Brick Bronski, that's for sure. And from what I understand, from what I've been told earlier in the show, there's a small chance these two men may come up and join us for commentary during the second half of the show. So I'm sure we're going to look forward to that. Doug Flex, of course, accompanying GQ Bronski to the ring. You may look forward to it, but I know I don't. You know, Doug Flex not going to be in, above involving himself in this match if the case calls for it. Of course, Paul Mitchell trained to be a wrestler by Steve Blackman, who's in attendance this evening. Blackman unable to wrestle due to an injury tonight. He is still here. A man of his words still shows up here in Lebanon. Doesn't want to rip the fans off. As here we see Paul Mitchell making his way to the ring. We saw GQ Bronski the last couple of shows here in IPW come out and attack and or challenge Paul Mitchell after his matches. Paul Mitchell had enough of it, said that's it, sign me a match, and we have it here this evening. You're not even supposed to be in the I don't care if you're the one you two. So I'm trying to make sure I have somebody on my back. You're the center. I don't want you in here. I want you out of the door. I want to tell you what. You want me out of the building. You want me out of here, punk. Yeah, okay. I'll just help you out. I thought there was something for you to do now. But I'll tell you what. I can't do it. I've been doing it for one year. What four years have been already discussed with them. You can't run from anywhere in the state of Pennsylvania. I'll have your license taken from you. I don't have any flag every time you show up at a bill. So if that's the way you want it to be, I'll be glad to board it with the athletic commission. And we don't want to put up with you for at least a year. And you won't be left with anybody else. Now I know that you're right there because we really don't care for that. Doug Fletch thrown over to Game Plan once again with GQ Bronski. I know he didn't buy a ticket off me. Our illustrious security crew here. I'd bet you ten dollars they couldn't throw themselves out of the building, Dave. You know what? He's not sick. How's the mother? You tell me something. Well, we made this story, we made this story in three. I have forgotten, I have forgotten more women than two people who ever meet in your life. That's the bottom line. So I'm going to do my bottom line. First of all, 
No, no, no. Number one, I'm so happy to have you here tonight. And I think most of these people are, because we only got to live this little once, you know? Number two, this is not a karate match. This isn't a karate show. This is pro wrestling, buddy. And your position is going to wrestling. I told you I was going to come to a fight last time I was here. I'm a black belt. I'm not a wrestler. You got your fight and the professional wrestling world. This is a professional wrestling promotion, buddy. How about that? Gentlemen, introduce us. No. No, forget it. No. Do you want to study coach? Do you want to study coach? Do you want to study coach? If Paul Mitchell ends up hurting GQ Bronte, I'll forgive everything I've said about him. GQ Bronte. A bit confused about what type of match this is here. He had he didn't think it was going to be a wrestling match, but that's what it is. Definitely at a big disadvantage here. Plus, he doesn't have Doug Flex at ringside to try and help him. Doug Flex is still in the building, so don't put anything past him, Dave. Absolutely not. But if he tries to run interference in this match, it'll be just like if one of these fans running in here. He'll be prosecuted. And unlike the fans, Doug Fletcher will be suspended from wrestling for one full year. As we see Paul Mitchell here opening up like a house of fire on GQ Bronski. No trouble at all picking him up for a body slam. Bronski, probably the best sort of offense he's going to have for this match is rolling to the outside. I think Paul Mitchell's put on at least 10 pounds of muscle since I've last seen him. Certainly in phenomenal, phenomenal shape is Paul Mitchell. As now we see GQ up in the Iowa, consoling with Doug Flex. Walking behind Doug Flex, Jimmy B. Good and Mark Mess. From the famous Mess Brothers Training Center. Located in Blandon, Pennsylvania. There we see Bronski now going with some kicks. Mitchell catches the leg. Mitchell able to take him over with a belly to belly suplex. GQ rolling to the outside. I don't think he's going to have any sort of offense in this match the way things are going. All he's doing by rolling to the outside and going over to Doug Flex is prolonging the inevitable. The inevitable being him losing this match. Paul Mitchell wants to settle the score here with GQ Bronsty. And Bronsty doesn't want to get back in the ring. He's afraid of what Mitchell is going to do to him. Bronsty taunting Mitchell again. Yeah, and you see. GQ won't get back into the ring, so Paul Mitchell goes to the outside of the ring. So they're having a foot race around the ring here. Oh, and there you see a smart move by, by GQ, being the first man into the ring, able to get the advantage from Paul Mitchell as Mitchell crawls into the ring, meets him with some boots. What's he setting up for here? Goes with a kick. Kick sends Mitchell down to the canvas. Bronsky with a kick to the solar plexus. Might have knocked the wind out of Mitchell. GQ with a smart move. And he kicks the referee. That is not a smart move. The referee being very lenient here, not calling for the disqualification. He knows that these two men have a score to settle. Well, it's actually Mitchell that has the score to settle with Bronsky. There we see a nice suplex by Mitchell. Almost made GQ a permanent part of the ring. See, so setting up for here appears to be going for the Boston Crab. He's going to snap him in half. GQ has no choice but to tap out. And here we see Doug Flex. Doug Flex coming in the ring to save Bronte. Does a drive by on Paul Mitchell. He's choking Mitchell out here. We need to get security in here. 
He's, he's, he doesn't have his managing license. This is just like a fan jumping into the ring. He's only here as a fan. You've seen him with his ticket earlier on. As here we see Jake Daniels and Larry Brown making their way into the ring with chairs. They're going to try and break this up.